Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, so I'm trying to get back in it now that fall is almost upon us. It's been a busy summer, so I took a little bit of time off, and I'm sure y'all have been really busy too. But we actually just, Merle Norman just came out with our new fall collection. So that's what I'm doing today. That's why I'm jumping on here to do a quick tutorial. And this is the fall collection. Let's see if you can see that. So it's really gorgeous. There's um, two different eye eyeshadow trios. This is one of them. And this is the other. And then this gorgeous marbled blush. And then we also came out with this I'm super excited about. It's called Plush Lipstick. So this is how it comes. It's a whole nother formula, a brand new line. And this will be permanent. The other colors are temporary. So once they sell out, they're gone forever. So hurry in and get those. But these are amazing, the plush lipstick. So it comes in a regular tube. Um, this is the one that I'm wearing right now. There's 17 shades. So there's so many beautiful shades to choose from. This one is called Composed. So it's kind of, it looks more brown in the tube. It's a bit of a, a wine, kind of an earthy wine color. They feel so good. They smooth out lines in your lips, and they do not feather and bleed. So you don't have to worry about... Um, any transfer of the colors underneath your lips, the corner of your mouth, especially important when you're wearing a dark color or a red or anything vibrant. So these are amazing. Comes in anywhere from like light pinks to um, there's a really cool navy that um, doesn't look good on me, but I'm convinced it will look gorgeous on some of you. And there's a really pretty intense purple. There's so many new shades that we've never had before. So definitely check those out. And again, I'm wearing Composed in the plush lipstick. Um, so what I'm really going to do today, I already have the cheek color on, the marbled. So it's a really pretty shade. I'll lift that back up so you can see it. It's got multiple colors in it. So it's got like this kind of golden fleck and then some wine tones, some pinks. So it looks different on everybody and it looks different every time you put it on. So it blends with all lip color shades anywhere from corals to browns to purples. So it's a really great shade and I'm hoping that they'll make this permanent but um, as of right now it's just temporary. So definitely run out and get that while it lasts. And then the eyeshadows, I'm going to focus more on this trio today. But then I'm going to talk a little bit about this one, and maybe I'll do a tutorial on that one later. Um, they're both gorgeous. Peacock is the color this fall. So it's really pretty, and it's actually very wearable, so don't be afraid of that. I'm going to show you more of these. There's uh, russets, kind of a warm brown. Silver khaki is a more neutral silver. I would say more of like a pewter tone. And then minx is a really pretty kind of a beigey shimmer. And then I also, I really love the gold velour in this one, a little bit warmer and softer. There's a beautiful copper and then the peacock that we talked about. So I've already got some eyeliner on. If you want your eyeliner to be more pronounced, then I would do it after you're done with your eyeshadow. And um, if you want it to be a bit softer and you want your eyeshadow to take front stage, then go ahead and do your eyeliner first. So I've done mine first. I did Java in the soft touch eye pencil on the top of my lash line and then I did copperized on the bottom. So Java, I'll, I'll draw some on my hand so you can see it. Java is a more intense brown, almost like a brownish black and has no shimmer, whereas copperized has a little bit of shimmer and it's quite a bit softer. So copperized is on the bottom there. So they're both really, really pretty shades. And I've talked about that before. I like using two different eyeliners, a darker on the top and a softer on the bottom because it gives you definition from the darker one, but it doesn't make your eyes look as closed off as using just a dark color all the way around. So I'm going to start with the lightest shade. And I actually use concealer brushes, Merle Norman's concealer brush. It's called Face Number 8. I use these for a lot of my eyeshadows just because I really like the brush head. It's real plush and um, you can blend it back and forth really easily. So I'm going to take a little bit of, I like to mix the compacts. So I'm going to mix a little bit of gold velour with the silver khaki and I'm going to put that as my highlighter shade. 
So that one's going to go up here at my brow bone. Move my mirror closer so I can see what I'm doing. So right underneath my eyebrow. And then I'm going to bring it a little bit down in this inner corner. So it's almost the shape of like a little upside down C. Go a little bit more and I'm going to do the other eye. So these are shimmery, but they're not overly shimmery, so don't be afraid of them. They don't have sparkles. They just have a little bit of light reflectiveness in them. And then I'm going to take another brush. This actually comes in the Knockout Nudes palette, and it's one of my favorites. We don't have it to retail right now, so I guess you just have to get the Knockout Nudes palette to get this one. But it has this nice compact end here if you want to put a lot of shadow on. And then I really like the fluffy end on the other side too. So I'm going to use the compact end over here to put some of the silver khaki on my inner lid. So kind of that inner corner. And then I'm going to blend it up to my crease. And I'm going to take it most of the way across my lid, but I'm going to come back in with another color. So don't worry about getting it quite all the way across your lid. Focus it more on the inner two thirds. Then the same thing on the other eye. And y'all bear with me, my voice is really raspy lately. So I don't mean to growl at you. So I don't know if you can see the difference. The lighting in here is a little bit dark, but um, just so you can probably see the side better. Just from here to about here. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the gold velour. So this is the one I just, just did, silver gacky. A little bit of gold velour um, right underneath. Add a little pop. Just kind of that inner V and then about a third of the way across. Sorry about that, my video just stopped. Um, so I just added the gold velour um, under here with this compact side, under here about the inner third of my eye, and then just a little bit in that inner V to add a little bit of lighter shimmer. And then I'm gonna take eyeshadow brush, it's eyes number four, so it's an angled brush. Let's see if you can see that. It's kind of compact and it's angled, so I'm going to use this one for adding eyeshadow underneath my eye. It's my favorite for that. So I'm going to add a little bit of the Minx underneath. So that's this one. And I'm doing this over top of my eyeliner. So the point of this is to kind of smoke out your eyeliner. And it adds drama to your eyes, but also adds a transition from your eyeliner to your skin. So it keeps it from being so harsh, just makes it look more makeup artisty, more professional. So the same thing to the other side. And you don't have to do this. Not everybody likes it quite as dramatic. If you don't want it quite as dramatic, then just skip this step and do a softer eyeliner on the on your bottom lash line and you'll be fine. And then I like to feather it up this way just a little bit so that I can um, kind of meld this color and my crease color together. So just kind of blend that, get a little bit more on my brush. And then I'm going to take another base number eight concealer brush that I use for my darker shades. And I'm gonna dip that in Minx as well. So that's gonna be my upper crease color, kind of the transition. And then I'm gonna put the russet in just the deepest part of my crease. So that'll help you blend it. It makes it a lot easier to transition from your highlighter shade up at your brow bone to your crease color if you have something in between the two. 
and you don't have to be real careful with this one. I just, I go kind of fast. The only one I spend a lot of time on, relatively, is the russet because it's a lot darker, deeper shade. So I'm going to use more of a chisel brush for that one. It's the eyes number four. The one that's kind of angled and more compact. I'm going to get some of the russet color in that one and then put it just in the deepest part of my crease. So like your eye socket area. And at first it's going to look really dramatic, but we're going to blend it. So don't worry about that. And then depending on your eye shape, you might want to blend it up a little bit higher. For me, if I just put it in the deepest part of my crease, you really don't see it when my eyes are open. So I always blend my crease color up just a little bit. So I'm going to blend it into the minx. And then I like to take a little bit of that. See, let's see if you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take a little bit of it and blend it into the minx that I put with my eyeliner. Just to transition those two. And then I'll do the same thing on the other eye before I blend it. Russet's a really cool color. We've never had one quite like this. It's almost like a burgundy and a brown mixed together. It's perfect for fall. And I just use kind of a windshield wiper motion to blend that in my crease. and then blend it down into the minx. So then I'm gonna take the brush that I used for a minx. I'm just gonna blend those two together a little bit, soften it. And then I always like to take the brush I use for my lightest color. So that was the one for my highlighter. Um, I take that and I just kind of sweep it along the outer edge of my eyeshadow. It helps it not to be so crisp and dark on the outside. It just blends that and kind of buffs away any, any shadow that's a little without that line. So you want to keep it more between the edge of your eye and the edge of your eyebrow. So this kind of cleans that up for you. And then you can always go back and reinforce your highlighter shade. If you feel like it's just gotten a bit too dark, come back with your lightest shade and put a little bit more on. So I'm gonna do that in my inner corner. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the light shade and just blend it in here. Because the rule of thumb is that you wanna keep it light and bright here and then transition to your deeper colors on the outer edge of your eye. So voila, that's what we got going on. And then I'll probably come back with a little bit of the Sharp Brown Pro Pencil um, just to make my line a little bit crisper. And I like kind of a cat's eye. So if you like a cat's eye, then these are amazing. It's a felt tip pen. There's a black and a brown. The brown almost looks black. That's it. It's just a little bit softer than the actual black one. And then I like to add a lot of mascara for this look because it is darker and deeper, so you need to uh, balance that with mascara. So the best one for this, I really love Fat Lash Mascara. Wicked Lash is really great. And then I use our waterproof pretty much all the time. So I curl my lashes, and then I apply one coat of the waterproof, and then that keeps the curl. Um, if your eyes tend to water, you have allergies or whatever, then use just the waterproof and do a couple of coats of that. But if not, that lash gives you a lot of volume. So that's about all for today. Um, if y'all want to see a tutorial on this other compact, I'll focus more on the blue and the copper 
just let me know. I'll probably work on that next week. So that'll be coming. But for now, we've mostly used the Inspired Compact. It's called the iColor Trio and Inspired. Um, the other one is called Ambition. And they're both gorgeous. So if you want to, come in with the store and then we'll, we can teach you how to do a look that would be appropriate for your eyes. This general eyeshadow looks good on most people. But again, you can always tweak it to suit your eyes. So anyways, y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.